Nightmare, SCP-259, Object Class, Keter, Special Containment Procedures, a single copy of a computer program capable of producing SCP-259 is to be kept on a compact disc in the high security containment vault at Site-25. As discs containing SCP-259 are typically destroyed during experimentation, additional copies may be made for approved experiments. Mobile Task Force Gamma-10 remains on standby to collect and neutralize any copies of SCP-259 found outside the Foundation. Unauthorized media containing SCP-259 or the means to produce it are to be destroyed immediately. Description SCP-259 is a fractal image known as the Wisenglass Spiral. A complete rendering of SCP-259 acts as an Einstein-Rosen bridge opening a portal to an unknown location. The locations accessed appear to vary depending on the size and orientation of the rendered image, and if included, an area filled with superheated plasma, estimated temperature 20 million Kelvin. See Incident K259-1, an area populated with venomous cockroaches, species unknown, weight approximately 2 kilograms. See Incident K259-2. Deep Space, estimated to be kilometers from a black hole. See Experiment X259-2, an area possibly corresponding to the dimension opened by SCP. See Experiment X259 3. Foundation mathematicians are working on determining why this specific fractal has anomalous properties and whether other similar anomalous images exist. By O5 order, any image rendering related to SCP. 259 experimentation must take place at least meters from inhabited areas. After incident K259-1, 41 copies of a CD capable of generating SCP-259 were confiscated from com and a public warning issued that the CD labeled a hundred fun fractals you can print contains a malicious virus that will destroy the user's computer. <laughs> com claimed to have obtained the discs from a reseller's bankruptcy sale, and the foundation was unable to trace the original producer. Whether SCP-259 was released accidentally or disturbed with knowledge of its anomalous properties is under investigation. Incident K259-2 makes it clear that SCP-259 is being used with malicious intent. The Foundation is working with global anti-terrorism forces to retrieve SCP-259 from the organization responsible for this incident. Addendum Incident K259-1 A residence hall <laughs> University was destroyed by explosion slash fire on 20 <laughs> Authorities were mystified that conditions at the center of the incident resembled the detonation of a small fusion-based device. Graduate student was completely vaporized, as were others 
including several who left shadows imprinted on the nearest standing walls. Questioning of the survivors indicated that <laughs> had gone to his room with a CD he had recently ordered from com <laughs> to play with some fractals, leading to the eventual discovery of a program capable of rendering SCP-259 for sale on the site. Incident K-259-2 2001 Images of SCP-259 approximately 10 meters by 10 meters in size appears on the diamond version screen during soccer game at stadium outside approximately 60,000 people in attendance survivors report a large circular anomaly appeared in front of the image of venomous cockroaches poured out anyone from could it. reach approximately casualties considering a self-containing incident as the insects are unable to survive for more than two hours in Earth's atmosphere. The cockroaches average two kilograms in weight and correspond to no known terrestrial species. Several live specimens were collected by Foundation MTFs and classified as SCP. They are currently held at site and a 35% oxygen environment. The organization later claimed responsibility for the image. Mass application of amnestics necessary to partially suppress public knowledge of this event. Experiment 259-1 A battery powered computer was set up in an uninhabited area of the desert to render an image of the Wisenglass spiral with remote cameras and sensors set up to monitor the results. Foundation personnel observed at a safe distance. Upon completion of the image, a circular area appeared in front of the computer, approximately one meter in diameter emitting a blinding white light, followed by a ball of superheated plasma. The plasma dissipated after expanding to an area of <laughs> cubic meters. Given the interference provided by the building in Incident K-259-1, this is consistent with the damage observed. Dr. <laughs> considers it interesting that SCP-259 took effect without direct human observation. Experiment 259-2 Experiment 259-1 Recreated, except the size of the rendered fractal was doubled. Upon completion of image, a black portal, approximately 3 meters in diameter, appeared, and all matter within meters was pulled into it. This is consistent with an otherwise unexplained incident where an apartment building was described by observers as imploding and disappearing, leaving a meter deep Experiment 259-3 Generation of an inverted version of SCP-259 An area quarantined pending containment of multiple examples of SCP-259